Yep. <laughs> I I keep hitting bracket, but 404 page not found. Oh, that's final bracket. This is just bracket. Why are there so many brackets? Okay, so Snowy beat Mr. Gingy. Yeah, I also I play winner of SCJ Snowy. <laughs> <laughs> so I am just guaranteed to play above. Uh huh. And then, all right. So you beat Nihilus. Scoo beat GP. So you play Scoo. Um, Arsenal's beat Murasame. Hamlin's gonna play what the flux. And I play. E no, no. He's gotten close a few times, and I he definitely can do it, but I don't think he like I wouldn't put him to. Yeah, yeah, and then so winner of this plays winner of me and not the winner. All right, man, that's such a small bracket. And then uh, Gabe actually DQ'd; he didn't show up, so we actually have 26 people in the bracket now, and it's time 26. It happened. <laughs> it was planned from the start. Oh wait, you, Albert's muted. Uh Okay. Okay, yeah, now you're Oh, there we, go, there we go. I was, I was wondering, like, why I couldn't I was wondering hear you. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, I don't really know much about this matchup, even though I'm a Falcon man. <laughs> I just kind of hit and, like, play the spacing and the little micro interactions, but right. there's a game plan. It's, it's very honest, I think. Okay. There's not a way that Falco can just straight walk down cheek and the same way the other way. Right. Um, so you're playing a lot of little interactions all the time. So like obviously, you you can, like laser in and stuff. What are Falco's like other approach options? Uh, laser in. I really like wave dash in because a lot of times what Sheik's waiting for is you to aerial or laser in. Dang. He did that, that sucks. horribly. Yeah, he tried to opt attack and yeah. he messed up. So a lot of times Sheik's are trying to uh, wait on shield and then narrow to shield. Okay. Um, and then after a narrow to shield, maybe try to get a grab or something like that. So something Falco can do is just not hit their shield and wave dash forward and start shine punch. Okay. Interesting. And then I also, like, I just, I think it's so good because I play Ice Climbers, but I think laser down tilt is just so good. I don't know how good it against good against I don't it is think it's Sheik. very good against Sheik. Okay. Because they can just wave dash out, because it's a four frame uh, jump squat. So right. wave dash out and then forward tilt you. It's a pretty easy punish for Sheik. Yeah, because if I sees it, like, they just push them so far back that they can't really do right, anything. Right, yeah, about Sheik it. doesn't go anywhere. And also, she has a faster right. to come out. I sees oh, that have to wait. Yeah, that was a nice hit. Yeah, last time uh, Brayden and Bungo played at Eminem this last week, and it was like game three last dock, and then Brayden just side beat off the stage. Oh, no, no. And it was sad. That's the Falcon. Or no, it wasn't game three, it was game two. Oh, I really uh, like that wave dash forward by Bungo. Oh, <laughs> that up tilt cut. I thought that dash track was gonna win. Oh, wow. Man, Sheik's back here. Even when it gets the weak hit, the sound effect on it is so thick. That's nice, yeah. I think uh, Bungo needs to shield a little more. Just kind of letting. Braden getting with free nares. Oh, and Braden's catching him with these forward smashes too. Do you think he's reacting, or do you think he's just? I, I think there's like a couple that he's reacting, but a few of them he's just throwing them out there, and if he misses them, he's fine. Or if like Bungo gets a shield on, it's fine. Yeah. Because like, in, in, it's, in an instance where like that one he caught him in the corner, you you just pull that forward smash, and then if he rolls to center, then you just you just have to fight out of the corner. Then right. you don't like immediately get hit. And then if you get it, then he dies at 60. So it's a Back pretty good reverse reward. Yeah. It's game one to. And this is all three out of five. I really yeah, like that's that awesome. all three out of five. I love three out of five. I'm excited. Because there's like a lot of people that I've just never gotten to play in a three out of five before. Imagine if we had a Texas monthly that was all three out of five and all the top players came. Oh, that'd be so. I love it. At Tribes of Texas. Tribes of Texas 2 coming soon. <laughs> God, what, what happened to that? I don't know. That sounded so cool. <laughs> it sounded amazing. And then I think Jake was the one that was. Uh, oh, he know, didn't have a double. Organizing it. Oh, no. Yeah, Pretty it was such it. a cool concept. I think we'll have one in the future. Uh, we'll hopefully. Because we're just getting better, so as time goes on, it's just going to be more and more entertaining. Yeah. Well, I mean, back then, if you remember what the tribes of Texas was supposed to be, it was the prime tier net. 
Prime MT. Oh god, Mojo. MT was still around, yeah. wasn't he? And Mojo is Houston. Prime SOS. Oh god. I guess me. Prime yeah. BFJ. Man. That would have been hard. Man, Texas has changed. It has changed. Yeah, because I remember like when I came in, MT was just like a myth. <laughs> like he he showed he showed up to a couple tournaments uh, and before, right before he moved. That was about the time that he started to quit. Yeah, not but, really quit, but where he like yeah. kind of put it on the back burner. Right. And so I just hear all these stories and like I the only two tournaments I've ever seen MT at he beat West Balls and then uh, it was the LTC where he did really really he well against Wizzy. Wizzy. Yep. So that is all I have seen of MT and needless to say I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. He's so it's, good. It's too bad that when I moved to Austin, he immediately moved to Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> but now he's, he's in Houston, right? He is in Houston, but uh, he's probably not going to come to stuff for a while. Okay. Yeah. At least we have him back. That's step one. Right. <laughs> I, I, I want him to like get to Prime MT again. I want to. I want to play Prime we'll, MT. We'll see if he decides to do it. But he's really far into the retired life, you know. Right. He might. Let's see. Anyways, this match. Oh, that was sick. That edge cancel up air forward air. That was so cool. Uh, another last talk. These two. Uh, when Brayden played Fox, I don't think Brayden ever lost to him. Just like ever. And then they've had much closer sets since he switched to Falco. Yeah, I think I think it's because this is a lot more of an honest match, and I think to be a good Falco, you have to be somehow good at this matchup. And right. I don't, you know, I'm not even a good Falco because I don't think I'm good at this matchup. And I think this is one of the tests to see if you are. Right. I like that up smash. That just covered that entire platform. Because rather than like a, a set game plan and set ways to you know, lock them down, you have to actually have good good spacing, good follow ups on reaction. Right. It's just your overall play instead of the knowledge, really. Okay. That's cool. I'm, I'm glad that there's like a, a high tier matchup like that. Where there's not just like a clear cut game plan of what to do, and if you stick to that, you're gonna win. I could be wrong, but that's what. That's oh, yeah, but like, like. I've tried a long time to find a really good game plan against Sheik, it just hasn't happened. Yeah, then I, I trust your opinion. Even if it's not like completely right, I imagine it's like. has solid roots at the very least. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the second time Bungo has chained. Oh, up smash, okay. I love Falco's up smash, because he's so tall. Oh, yeah. Compared to Fox's? Yeah. And so, like, it, you can just, like, cover a, a Yoshi's platform with a Falco up smash. Yeah. I love it. You can shield poke, guaranteed, if they don't uh, ankle down. Yeah. So if you and ever see, like, uh, you know, if you're Falco against Sheik, maybe not Sheik, but if you're against Fox, Pretty much anyone Mark, else. Anyone else. If you're just sitting on that platform, you just do the up smash. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because you get them with that weird hitbox too, so yeah. it like sends them off, like right. straight off of the platform, and like sweeps them off. Yeah, so if they're trying to stay up there at 150 or something, trying to you know cheese you out. Yeah, like the they're just drop. waiting for a shield drop or something. Right. Just up smash them. And they die. And because like no one expects that, because what Falcons go for that? So they're not, not many. And like also people are. Oh, that was really clean. People in general are pretty bad about angling their shields. Yeah, because you're trying to you're trying to shield drop, right? And to shield drop, you have to put to left or right. Yeah. And so people kind of forget the other ways. They just do the shield drop every time. That's why Mango's so good. Sometimes he'll just put back and actually angle it the right way and then wave dash off instead. Yeah. Also, I really like what Brayden just did there. He just jumped full hopped with every single Shino stall. And then when Bungo finally did a tournament winner, he could just double jump back air it. I noticed this when I played Bungo in friendlies. I'd like to see him get better at... Um, Ledge dashing because his yeah. ledge dash options are insane if you can get a lot of frames on your ledge dash. Yeah, because usually what Bungo will do is he'll just start Shino stalling until you respect him. Right. And then uh, so he'll just be able to like get up on stage for free, or if you tr if you try and fight him, then he's comfortable fighting in that like Shino stall edge position. You better be careful one day though. Someone's gonna just take yeah, that ledge. Yeah, someone's just gonna sweep it from sweep you. Sweep that ledge. Oh, that up air was sick. God, Falco up air oh. looks so cool. That's nice. You can combo into it a lot of times too. And like short up hop air? up air on a pop. Oh, Shine. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know. So, is Shine like stronger than up air there? Oh, side B up smash. Uh, it's kind of weird. I guess. <laughs> I, think so. I think so. Okay. Yeah. I think it scales a little differently. That's why I'm a little hesitant. Right. Yeah, because I, I don't know. Like, I know Shine obviously has way higher base, but right. I don't know what the scaling is for up air. Because I think at like 999, maybe up air is better. I don't right. 
Yeah, so I think either way, Shine's like the safer option because you know it's gonna send really high. Yeah, but sometimes the up air has more range. Yeah, and also need. like the up air reaches a little higher. Right, right. And okay. also, I feel like Shine's a little easier to DI than up air. Uh, it is, yeah, I would say so. Shine, smash the guy. Oh, oh that's a 3-0. Damn. Wow, you said this was close last week? It was. Dang. And it was like, Bungo, Bungo won it last, on Monday. That was convincing. Good job to Bungo.